Welcome to Marvel Mavens, our show where we talk about all things Marvel. I'm Lauren, and I'm with Castles, Capes, and Clones, where we discuss everything in the DC Universe. Please be sure to subscribe to our program and hit the bell for notifications. And please do like this post. I heard from some of you that thought that I jumped the gun a little bit, uh, and I should have talked about my Marvel fandom a little bit. Uh, I wanted to get the program about Chadwick Boseman out because it was relevant. Uh, he had recently passed away, uh, unfortunately. So I started with that one, but I'm going to rewind a little bit and talk about my Marvel fandom. So I've been a Marvel fan as long as I can remember. I, I mean, Marvel taught me how to read, uh, taught me how to, taught me words like hubris. Uh, I don't, I can't remember the first issue of a comic that I read by Marvel, but I do know the time frame. Uh, it was, uh, Fantastic Four would be a Fantastic Four comic, and it was in the time frame that Johnny Storm was, uh, involved with Crystal from the Inhumans, and then later they broke up. And she married uh, Quicksilver. So that's about the time that I started reading Marvel Comics. So I thought I'd answer some questions pertaining to my Marvel fandom. And the first question is, what is my favorite Marvel comic? So uh, I have kind of two ways of looking at it. I personally love books that are... A little bit funnier like I like Ant-Man and I like Squirrel Girl something with a little humor in it um, you know I don't like a lot of darkness in my comics but I do like team books and I like the Avengers I've been reading them for the longest time and the champions um, I love that team as well so those are tend to be my favorite books uh, in terms of comics. What is my favorite Marvel storyline? Uh, it's got to be Annihilation. I love that storyline so much. Uh, it was in 2005, written by Dan Abnett and uh, Andy Lanning, and it's this epic cosmic story that uh, involves characters like Nova, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Silver Surfer, um, Ronan the Accuser, uh, Super Scrawl, just all of these heroes uh, getting together to fight off the Annihilation Wave, which is uh, a nihilist who comes from the negative zone. Uh, he looks like a bug, and he's got this army of bugs that are ready to conquer the universe. And reading this book... Is as exhausting as watching these heroes fight it. Uh, you really feel like you're in the middle of the battle and just exhausted uh, for them. And it's a really, really great story. So I highly recommend that one. The next question is, what is my favorite Marvel movie? So again, we're going <laughs> to look at two different types. Uh, I love Infinity War and Endgame. To me, that's one complete movie. You can't watch one without the other. One is Act 1, one is Act 2. Uh, it's just this brilliant, epic story that Marvel earned throughout its 11 years of being. Yeah, I mean, it. they really, really built up to the story and there's a moment at the end of the film where Captain America cries Avengers assemble and it just it just really feels like they earned it uh, he hadn't said it the entire time but it was just I mean I my breath was just taken away by that scene so I love Infinity War and Endgame 
But if I'm honest, I really like um, Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, they're kind of my go-to films. And the reason why is because they're funny. Uh, I love them. I love the fact that they're, they're funny, they're simple, they're small, pun intended. So uh, I really enjoy those films. Who are my favorite Marvel heroes? Uh, so, Captain America is first. Uh, I think that he is a great character. A lot of people think that he's like a Boy Scout, but he's got so many layers. He's this character from The Greatest Generation, plucked uh, out of that and put into our generation. And he has to kind of uh, learn how to um, view America as it is now. It's not what it was uh, in the 40s. And so he has this, he's a patriot, but he's not a jingoist. Uh, he doesn't believe that America is defined by its government. So he doesn't necessarily always trust the government, but he just defines it by the people and he's always for the people. And I love that about him. Thor is another one. I loved Norse myths when I was younger. Uh, I would carry this book called Dallaire's Book of Norse Myths around. God, try and say that ten times fast. Uh, but I would carry it around and I would read all the stories in there. So I knew all about Thor. Uh, and I even, you know, I loved the fact that Marvel expanded upon uh this character for me so uh it's really great to see him and then my other favorite marvel hero is squirrel girl just such a funny character she was kind of a joke character put into the grand lake avengers and um you know which is a joke team and uh or the great lake avengers sorry not the grand lake and uh, she, I don't know who put her in the Avengers as the nanny of Luke Cage and Jessica Jones, but it was brilliant. And it, it really um, made her shine. And all of a sudden, she's all over the place, which is fantastic. Uh, you know, her book is amazing. And I love seeing her in the um, Marvel Rising cartoons so great character in the movies uh, it would still be Captain America and Thor but I would also add, add Ant-Man again for the humor and Doctor Strange I just think that he's such a great character in the movies I love the way that they did his origin story so uh, I love Doctor Strange in the movies who are my favorite Marvel villains uh, Ebony Ma in the movies. Uh, he was the uh, child of Thanos that uh, confronted Tony Stark and Doctor Strange and Spider Man in New York. And he had that telekinetic power. And he was just awesome. I mean, like watching him battle them and how much they had, how much difficulty they had in fighting him. Uh, I decided that he was a, a great villain. And then in the comics, uh, I, I actually hope that he will be in the movie soon. But it's Craven the Hunter. He is this guy who hunts people in New York. And he's always hunting Spider-Man. Uh, and he's got this lion vest and leopard sleeves. Uh, and just a really interesting guy. So I love Craven the Hunter. Who is my favorite Marvel character to see in the Disney parks? So there are a couple of them. Uh, first of all is Thor. When Thor first came to Disneyland, he had this elaborate meet and greet area where you would go into this pre-show where you'd see the relics of Asgard, and then Thor would take you across the bypass, 
the doors would open, and there would be Thor standing there. And I just remember getting really emotional. Like, I cried uh, during this experience. And a lot of it had to do with the fact that when I was younger, I would have loved to have seen Thor. I mean, this was amazing. And I can't imagine what it was like for a little kid to see uh, Thor for the first time. So it was just an emotional experience for me. I love him. So every time I see Thor in the park, I have to go see him. Uh, the other one is Captain America. Captain America, uh, out of respect, just like Mickey Mouse, need to see him every time I go to California Convention. So those are my two favorites in the park. What is my favorite Marvel book? So there are two of them. And I used to carry these around all over the place when I was younger. They're the Superhero Cookbook, the Mighty Marvel Superhero Cookbook, and the uh, Mighty Marvel Comics Strength and Fitness Book. And there's just so many cool illustrations in these books. Uh, I remember doing some of these exercises in this. Like Medusa doing chin exercises and then you've got power man doing weights and this is a great one thor skipping rope <laughs> that's such a great book and then this one has some some fun ones like the thing eating a giant donut a cookie and um, hold on I gotta find some other ones right here here's Johnny Storm with some kind of casserole and Shang-Chi with a giant bowl of rice and Dr. Strange and making some soup <laughs> great books I love these books so much now I thought we'd do a little show and tell uh, I brought out some of the books from my um, comic book boxes and some of them that I could find like some of them I couldn't find so but I thought that these were fun but this one is the first issue of the Falcon and look at the Falcon is dressed in this uh, green and orange costume. Thought that was really cool. And uh, Falcon is one of my favorite superheroes. This is when he officially became Captain America's partner. And this also has the origin of Modoc in it. And this comic, as ragged as it is, is the first issue of the Inhumans, which is a race of beings with superpowers. And this was one of my favorite comics from the 70s, and it was one of my favorite super team of all time. Uh, I loved it because of Hercules, it was one of my favorite superheroes. Uh, He's got all the bravado that Thor does. He's a mythological being. And he's here on this team with Angel and Johnny Blaze, Silver Surfer, and Natasha Romanoff. And this is the first issue of Cloak and Dagger. I love them a lot. And this is the first issue of Malekith the Dark Elf, which was the villain in um, Thor the Dark World. I love these covers from the Simonson run of Thor. This is one of my favorites of theirs. Beta Ray Bill. Such a great cover. And here's a fun one. This is the first issue of the Ewoks from Star Comics, which was owned by Marvel. 
this was their their uh, children's imprint. And Dazzler, one of my favorite mutants. Uh, I loved her. So 70s. And then Spider Woman, first issue. And finally, I have not only the first appearance of Spider Ham, but the first issue as well. Do -do, do -do. So, anyway, those are some of the fun things that I have around the house. Uh, I also thought that I'd take you on a little tour of my toys, uh, Marvel toys. You get to see some of them. Like over here, uh, you get to see these Captain Americas. There's my Stan Lee, Pop, uh, Thor, and Captain, Captain Marvel, Squirrel Girl, and uh, maybe some Doctor Strange stuff up here. But you don't get to see all of it, so I'll take you on a little tour of that. So I thought I'd share my Marvel toy collection. Got all this on the top. We've got a couple of glass cases. On the first level here, we've got my Captain America. Then over here is Thor. Down here is Iron Man. Over here is Spider-Man. Down here is the Guardians of the Galaxy. Over here, Black Panther. Down here, Ant-Man. And then over here is like a bunch of the Avengers. Over here, we've got a couple of my Q figs, Thor and Captain Marvel, and then the Squirrel Girl doll. Here's my Stan Lee Pop. Down here are the Fantastic Four. Over here are a couple Captain Americas. Then over here are my Doctor Strange things. And the Women of Marvel. And over here we've got a bunch of action figures. And then down here are my Marvel books. Over here are some Scotty Young uh, Marvel pens. And that is it. And I hope that you learned a little bit more about me being a Marvel fan. Uh, I would love to hear from you uh, if you have any more questions about Marvel that you'd love me to answer. Uh, or anything about Marvel that you'd like me to talk about. Uh, please leave those in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and please do like our posts, because it really does help us to be found. You can reach us on Twitter uh, at CCC Disney Uni, or me personally at AdLoJap, and visit our website at www dot castles capes and clones dot com thanks so so much for joining see you later bye <laughs>